Okay, so yeah, so today is Tuesday now. I had to do a, I had to attend something from, it was supposed to be from 9 to 2, but it's actually 3.50 right now, so it ran super late. It was all on um, sickle cell, sickle cell anemia, and we basically just had like a bunch of guest speakers explaining what it is and how um, some people who have it, like what they deal with and biases and healthcare and all of that. It was actually pretty interesting, just really long. So yeah, that's what I've been up to all day today, basically. Um, I've been trying to get some other stuff done like while that happens, but yeah. Also, I've been going through so much trying to get my COVID testing done for my placement this weekend. It's like um, pretty hard actually because you have to book it um, between like very particular dates in order to get it in time and like within the time limit that they need. Um, like you can only start going on a certain date as well. So anyways, I went on Sunday and then got the results this morning and was told that my nose was too dry. So the results were <laughs> inconclusive. So luckily I was able to find another spot this morning and I basically ran out of the house in my pajamas to make it to the appointment. Um, so I'm praying that I get the results tomorrow in time to be able to send them. So yeah, I've been dealing with that and um, and then this sickle cell thing and that's pretty much my day. Now I need to get some other things done now that that's all finally done. So yeah. Okay, I thought that I could maybe show you guys um, what we were doing yesterday. Um, I have it all in my backpack here, like my lab kit for this semester. So, um, but yeah, I also have, they gave us face shields that we had to wear during the class, which was fun. Um, I also bought one of these little books to put in my scrub pants for notes and stuff. So that's actually already come in handy um, just for little notes and stuff. But yeah, so basically this is my bag for this semester, um, not including my blood pressure cuff and my stethoscope. So a ton of stuff in here. Um, so we were given these fake medications and saline water. Um, so we have, this one was kind of fun. It was actually a powder and we had to draw up the, um, the, oh, this is sterile water. Sorry, not saline water, <laughs> sterile water. Um, mix it with the powder and then draw it up. That was kind of a fun one. Um, and then this is just a practice vial. Um, I think this one's just sterile water as well, yeah. And then, so these ones were really cool, um, and it was really nice of her. She gave us an extra one so that we could practice, but basically it is these little ampules. So they're glass, and you basically snap it right here on this line, um, so you, like, use something to guard your hand and you snap it um, and then draw up the liquid. So that was kind of a fun one. And then I have the syringes. So this one is um, 10 milliliters. I have the um, needles. So we have that. Um, oh yeah, I also, I was able to wear my goggles yesterday for part of the class instead of the shield, so that was really nice. And then I have the goggles that they, that my school gave me. Um, mine are definitely a lot more comfortable. <laughs> um, we learned how to do dressing, so I have a lot of different sizes of sponges and gauze. So one thing that was really cool that we did was gunshot wounds, like um, packing them. Um, so that was cool. We did like the ribbon packing. It's interesting. So these are just more sponges and gauze. Um, oh yeah, the first skill that we learned was catheters, um, which is kind of interesting. So obviously this wasn't done on real people, by the way. Um, just to clarify, it was done on the simulation dummies. So they act and look like people, but they're not actually living, obviously. 
Um, oh yeah, this is um, an insulin needle. And this is the three milliliter syringe. Um, I think this is the saline sodium chloride. Um, what else do I have in here? Uh, I think this is the dressing tray. Oh yeah, so what we did for the dressing was we put the solution, we did like a deep abdominal wound as an example. So we put um, saline solution in the tray and then we would we did the whole sterile field and would dip the um, gauze into, we did, sorry, I'm so bad at explaining. We did wet to dry, um, which would be in the doctor's orders apparently. So that was our, our order. And basically we were told to do um, the sterile field and then we would dip the gauze into the saline. Um, we were taught how to like kind of wrap it up, um, clean the wound and, redress it. So that whole thing was really interesting. We did ostomy care. So cutting out, this looks destroyed because it was already done and then taken off. I just took it off just so I can practice some more, but we did the measuring and cutting it to the ostomy size and caring for that. Um, uh, staple removal. Um, what is this? another type of bandage. Um, this is a large abdominal pad. We were taught how to tape everything properly. So like the catheters, how to tape that to the leg and where to place it and everything. Um, we also use this for the dressing. We were told that we would normally use, I forgot what it was called, but it was a different kind of tape that's a lot nicer on the skin um, and like breathable and stuff. Uh, but we just use this as an example. Um, this is the kit for the catheter. So for the catheters, obviously too, you use a sterile field. So I brought all of that home to practice with as well. Um, suture removal. And uh, these are my sterile gloves. So I brought this home just so I can practice like um, taking them out of the packaging and putting them on in a sterile environment. Um, what else do we have in here? Scissors. Um, um, I forget what these are called. Uh, not tweezers, but, oh my God, I forget. Anyways, comment below if you remember what that's called. This is for the bottom of the ostomy bag. The ostomy bag. So this clips on to this. This goes around the ostomy and then this clips onto it and it gets emptied out here. Um, I think this is, we already had them made, but I think this is to make um, like a fake ostomy. And yeah, just basically a bunch of other repeats of that stuff. Oh, this is to do a sample, oh, a sample, oh my god, clearly tired, um, to get a sample from a wound if you suspect um, some type of infection. So to get like a culture sample. Um, tweezers. There's called something else, but I totally forget right now. Um, oh, got my mask in here. Good. And yeah, it's my blood pressure monitor. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that's interesting in here. So I have a bunch of other really fun stuff in my semester three kit as well. Um, I think that's like IVs, more intense um, medications and injections and all that. So I'm really excited. Every semester, it honestly just gets like more and more exciting, obviously, with skills. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so I think now I'm going to um, maybe do a workout or 
I'm not sure. But anyways, I obviously need to clean all of this stuff up first. Um, or maybe I'll do a practice skill while this stuff's out. I don't know. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys later. I'm just doing orient, uh, not orientation, but like meet and greet with clinical instructor um, for my placement on Saturday, Sunday. So that's what I'm up to all morning. It's like a four hour thing where they go over different details about clearance and stuff. Um, so yeah, just kind of waiting for that to start. where Earl decided to sleep today, knocked over the laundry basket. <laughs> he's so cute. And we have this bed right here that we bought for him that he's never slept in, but yet sleeps in here. Typical cat. So I got another pair of glasses. These ones are from iBuyDirect. Um, I'm just gonna open them up one second. little case looks like it's kind of cute um, and I went through something a little bit different this time than other glasses that I've bought too. I went for clear ones so I'm gonna try them on and see how they look but um, I am trying to wear my contacts less but I don't really like my like black glasses that I have and I like the ones from kits but um, they, because they're the round look, they don't really always look good on me depending on how my hair is and stuff. So I wanted ones that I can wear just kind of like all the time. So I'm going to see how these look now. Okay. I look kind of scary because I just rolled out of bed to do that meet and greet thing. But, um, this is what they look like with no like makeup on or anything. I think they're kind of cute actually. I like that they're clear because from far away you don't, it's not like the first thing that you see. Um, like with my black glasses, I feel like right away, like even from really far away, all you see is like the black frames around my eyes. So I like that these are a little bit less, um, intense. So yeah, I'm happy with them. And the prescription is perfect. My other glasses were 0.25, um, or negative 0.25 off of my contact prescription, um, I think maybe just in one eye, but it did make a little bit of a difference I found. So I'm happy that these are the right prescription and yeah, they feel really nice. I really, I think I'm happy with them. I mean, I'll see once I like get ready maybe and stuff or like when I put my hair up, it kind of makes a difference sometimes with me for glasses. So yeah, I think I'm happy with them though. Um, Earl is still hanging out in here. And yeah, I just finished up with my meet and greet thing. Um, it was actually kind of awkward because my clinical instructor randomly was like, okay, everyone, like, put your cameras on. I don't want to be the only one with my cameras on. And nobody was really prepared for it. So it was only me and someone else that put our cameras on. And we, like, I mean, I look like this. So it was a little awkward, but who cares, right? Like, I don't really care what I look like for my classmates. So... Anyways, um, I think I'm going to go eat something now. It's like 11, but I'm starving for some reason. So I'm going to go eat a snack. And then I have a bunch of things that I need to get done this afternoon. I'm praying that I get my um, 
COVID results this afternoon because I was supposed to send them in by today at uh, 12, but because of my, because I had to get like retested and stuff that didn't happen. So I'm hoping that that will all get figured out, but yeah, so I need to get on with my day and I'll check in with you guys in a minute. This is what I'm having as my snack. I've been obsessed with these chickpea crisps. Um, and then this plant-based cashew dip. I normally get the, it's like a cucumber dill one, I think, but they didn't have it. So I got that one and then some veggies. For some reason I was still hungry. So I made a smoothie as well. It has blueberries, bananas, Greek yogurt, oat milk, and water. Good morning. I'm just sitting. This is our patio stuff, but I'm just sitting on the stairs right now. Earl's down there on the chair. Um, I'm just drinking my coffee and have my breakfast. Today's my only like full, actual full day off um, of the week. I have orientation tomorrow and then my placement all weekend. So I'm going to just get some chores done and relax today. Um, probably start editing this video and yeah I think that's all I really have planned today but we'll see what I actually get up to it's also sunny out so I definitely want to get outside for a little bit and yeah I think that's all that's in the plan for today hi guys okay so I just got a delivery I ordered the reference cards from nurse IQ which I'm sure if you guys are in nursing or um, interested in it or whatever I'm sure you guys have heard of this company. Um, they do reference cards and I also got this little, I think it's called, what is it, a lanyard or I don't know what you call them, but it just hooks onto your scrubs or whatever. And these are the cards that I got. So just one second, let me open this. Show you guys. So I just got a few because I didn't need all of them. I got the med calculations um, just because when I'm stressed out, I don't really, like for all, it's actually applicable to all of these. When I'm stressed, I don't have a good memory at all. Um, my mind goes blank. So like, even though I should know these off the top of my hand, I just can't remember everything. So I got that one. The nursing basics obviously is super helpful. It has all the common lab values, some other vital signs and stuff. And then what's this one? Oh, this is for um, like potassium, uh, calcium, sodium, all of those, um, all of those conditions, electrolyte imbalances. Um, so yeah, so those are just going to hook on to there and go on my scrubs. I think I'm going to take a picture for my Instagram, which is like super, um, what's the word, cliche. <laughs> I swear like every nurse or nursing student or in the medical field takes that kind of picture once you get these cards, but I just think it's so cute and I'm so excited um, to be going into clinical and actually working with patients and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm not really that embarrassed to be taking that cliche photo. So. I'm going to do that um, in a little bit, probably after lunch, and yeah. We bought this tree for the patio, so we're just setting it up. We have to, all the leaves are gonna like come down. Fluffy in the pot. 
And then we're gonna put those white rocks in there. Hi guys, it's Friday now. Sorry, let me just pause this. I'm just watching some YouTube and I was going through emails and um, I'm basically just waiting on, on an email right now from my clinical instructor who's going to tell us what we need to prepare for tomorrow for our placement. Um, I'm not going to turn the camera around right now because I have a hair mask in and I look terrifying. Um, but I'm also washing the sheets right now. I think, yeah, they're done so I can switch them to the dryer. But of course, I always do this where I leave stuff in the dryer. So I need to bring that out and fold it and then move that over. And yeah, I think Earl's over there sleeping on the bed. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, probably wash my hair soon. And then I need to go get groceries to um, get snacks and things for my placement this weekend. Hi, guys. I'm just having a snack. I got, uh, it's barbecue trail mix. I went to the grocery store, put all the groceries away, packed my lunch for tomorrow, which is basically the same as I showed um, when I went Monday to my lab. So I'm about to start editing this video. I'm going to see how much footage I have and then see what I want to film this weekend. I don't know how busy I'm going to be at placement. So we'll see. And yeah, that's what I've been up to. My clinical instructor sent an email with a bunch of stuff to go over before tomorrow, so I'm going to do that as well um, and just kind of make sure I'm prepared. I also packed my bag and laid out all my clothes and all that, so I'll show you guys that after as well.